Hello, I am here to discuss a few shortcuts with MBA CET. Shortcuts in CET is important mainly because if you save time in solving sums, you can solve more questions. Considering there are 200 questions to be solved in 150 minutes, time becomes very important. Let's start with discussing what is shortcuts. Shortcuts is anything that helps you to save time in the exam, any method that can solve the sums in a faster way. Second, you should be able to use in different type of sums. Any method which can only be used in one sum is only a formula and not a method. Let's take averages. In average, we say whatever is around the average, the total is zero. Okay, what I mean is, suppose I take average of 2 and 4. Average of 2 and 4 is 3. 2 is minus 1 as compared to average. 4 is plus 1 as compared to average. If you add this both minus 1 and plus 1, it becomes 0. So around the average, the numbers are 0 when you take the incremental values. Let's try to understand how to use in a sum. So here there are 13 boys sitting in a boat and the average weight is 38 kgs. And the boys and the boat is 45 kgs. So let's look at the first overall average is 45 kgs from which the boys are 38 kgs. That means they are minus 7. 45 minus 38 is 7. So they are minus 7 as compared to the overall average. And they are 13 boys. So minus 7 into 13. So they are overall minus 91 as compared to the average. Which basically means that the boat is plus 91. So when you add 45 plus 91, it becomes 136 kgs. So much simpler to solve instead of solving the longer way. Similar concept. Six numbers and the average of all the six numbers is 6500. You want to find the sixth number. So we see how far is it all the numbers from the average. This works when the numbers are close by. So if you look at 6435 is minus 65 as compared to the average. 6527 is plus 27 as compared to average. 6555 is plus 55 as compared to average. Same as 6530 is plus 20 and 6562 is plus 62. If you add all this, this becomes plus 109. So if these 5 numbers are plus 109 as compared to average, the sixth number has to be minus 109 as compared to our average, which becomes 6391. So easier to solve with smaller numbers instead of taking all the big numbers in place. Here we assume the average to be 20. We have to find the mean of all the numbers. So we assume average 20 because it's easy to calculate with 20. And take numbers. 23 is plus 3. 17 is minus 3. 19 is minus 1, 25 is plus 1, 23 is plus 3, 18 is minus 2, 29 is plus 9, 27 is plus 7, 31 is plus 11, 18 is minus 2. Smaller numbers so easier to ca count. If you total all this, this comes to 30 plus 30. But this plus 30 above the average for 10 numbers. So it becomes plus 30 upon 10 so each number is plus 3 as compared to the average so overall average becomes 20 plus 3 which becomes 23 so you get 23 as the answer so initially you may find it a little difficult to grasp some of the methods but as in when you practice more and use it in more sums it will become better so we will be having both free and paid online shortcut workshops for free workshop, you can subscribe to this channel, YouTube channel. For paid workshop, the entire CET, we, you can look at MBA CET prep with practic.blogspot.in for details. Or you can contact me at 9821316764. Thank you.